It doesn't appear to be as fun as it used to be, and overly cautious teachers could be to blame. A Darwin researcher says a culture of risk and anxiety is creating boredom for children in the playground. Felicity James reports. These seven-year-olds wish their playgrounds at school were a bit more like this one. It's pretty boring because it's plain and it's not really fun because none of the things there are like really useful. Like you can't like swing on stuff. There's nothing to swing on. I think it's a bit boring. Really? Because you just get to play on the same equipment every day. It seems playtime at school isn't as fun as it used to be, and this could be affecting student development. These are the findings of former sports teacher Dr Brendan Hindman, who spoke with 54 students in Victoria about their playground experiences. Some of the students actually felt that teachers were uh, more concerned about like, uh, policing their safety than their actual parents because of that fear of litigation in the schools and that type of thing. He says his findings also apply to Northern Territory children. Government research shows that less than one in five Australian children are meeting national guidelines for physical activity. I think that compared to say 20 or 30 years ago, people are much more safety conscious. And this is really limiting the amount of experience and just physical challenge that kids get. And I think it's probably been making kids less physically able than they were 20 years ago. Of course they want you to be safe. It's safe, but it's boring. The statistics for children in remote areas are better. Indigenous children are on average more physically active than non-Indigenous children, according to the Bureau of Statistics. <laughs> Dr Hindman hopes his research will encourage schools to strike the right balance between safety and healthy risk-taking in the playground. Felicity James, ABC News.